boys! This is Ludwig. He is one of the biggest streamers of all time. Top 10 in the world, baby. Top 10 in the world. But how did a self-proclaimed theater nerd from New Hampshire end up becoming such a prolific figure in the world of online live streaming? Today, I'm going to show you how Ludwig uses music to hack your brain. Whoa! Now, Ludwig just recently switched platforms to YouTube, but before that, he was streaming exclusively on Twitch, where he averaged almost 20,000 viewers each time he went live. Ludwig isn't afraid to give back to the community he's built, but that isn't something unique to his stream. In fact, plenty of other content creators do this too. So let's pop out the old holly jolly credit card and give it a bit of a workout. I will pay for your Amazon wishlist, but it's gotta be cool shit, okay? I'm giving away 10 thousand dollars on Twitch. Ludwig also isn't a particularly talented gamer, with the exception of his savant-like button mashing. Yeah! Yeah! So what makes Ludwig so special? Count what you have now. Don't count what you don't have. First and foremost, Ludwig is an entertainer and he plays that part better than most. But in addition to being witty and engaging with his chat, Ludwig's attention to the production value of his stream is really what brings his viewers back time and time again. And there's one thing that Ludwig does better than anyone on Twitch or YouTube. Music. Most streamers let the music of the games they play run in the background, and some don't have any music at all. But not only does Ludwig go to the lengths to find quality copyright free music, he creates a narrative with the music he chooses and the way he speaks. Ludwig <laughs> uses the music in his streams to tell stories and build suspense, the same way a composer would write music for an action film. No, not there. I don't know if this will work, let's go! Yes! Not yet, not yet. Yeah! Whoa! Huh. Huh. In fact, on some occasions, he hosts a live event where his chat picks the music for him. He organizes his stream into seasons and changes the soundtrack each time a new season begins. His community plays an active role in selecting the music with him, which only attaches them more to the content he creates. And of course, the iconic Count What You Have Now song stood in as a theme song for his channel for almost two years until... Uh -oh. Ludwig got to the point where the music of his channel started to transcend him as a creator. He began to make his own music. He would contract out professional musicians to help produce new tracks and even an entire Christmas album that was completely royalty free. The entirety of Ludwig's music came full circle when he actually hired the band Dimension to create two original songs for his channel. This band made lots of the video game music from Mario Kart 8 that Ludwig had already been using on his stream for years. So it only only made sense for him to go straight to the source. Ludwig tells stories with the music he chooses for his stream, and although he is an amazing entertainer, Ludwig's chat had to go to the lengths of finding great music for him to use to make his streams come alive too. Music is such an integral part of Ludwig's brand that without artists like Maria Takuchi, Youngbae, and Dimension, Ludwig's success would not have been slingshotted ahead the way it was. But quite honestly, the artist that has made the most impact on Ludwig as a personality and the way he uses his music is of course the original Ludwig Beethoven. You know what poop is? Hey, thanks so much for watching my video. This is the first video I've ever made, so if you liked it, make sure to subscribe and I'll make some more. See you next time, cupcakes.